Hello, you beautiful Capricorn. Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Radko Tarot. It's, uh, it's Rav. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into your week, November 30th to December 6th, uh, 2020. And uh, should you be interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website. Uh, from which you can go for a personal reading or you can also um, purchase a uh, tarot classes in case you are interested in so diving into tarot as well. So first card for your week, which is again November 30th to December 6th, 2020, uh, is the topic of the week itself and that is going to be the Nine of Swords. Uh, moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is going to be Justice. You have a lot, a lot to think about and quite some of important decisions to make for what it seems just for looking at those couple of cards. Moving next, we do have the um, challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. That will be the, um, the Hermit. Afterwards, uh, it will be the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Page of Cups. Followed by the uh, obstacles. Uh, no, this isn't the obstacles. I'm sorry, a bit tired here. Uh, that is how the people are going to see you, what kind of impression you are going to leave into the people around and that will be the Queen of Swords. Uh, moving next, we have the uh, obstacles now that are going to hold you down, that are going to hold you back from being successful, if you will. Afterwards, it is the positive aspects of the week, which are there to push you forward, to make your week Benefi um, beneficial. That will be the Ace of Wands. And the last one we have for you, uh, that will be the guidance that the Tarot is uh, giving you. We have the Ten of Wands. So, like I said, an important decision to be or not to be. Which one is better? We're going to dive into the cards right now. So, it seems that... Um, this week you are, like said, you do have a lot to think about and uh, that a lot to think about does relate to uh, consequences of certain actions that you are contemplating or you are about to start contemplating doing. This is described by G these two cards. We do have justice that it is the energy feeding up the topic of the nine of swords. So with those energies, Capricorn, uh, you are going to start discerning and differ differentiating as well the true aspects of your life or what is real from what is not real. That, however, is not going to make it easier to decide, like I said, to be or not to be. It, that, that could relate in terms of career or it could relate as well in terms of relationship regardless but it's what is important here to uh, understand it is the uh, how can I say the balance okay because if you choose whichever way of those two and you don't feel but you, you just don't feel that that is what you do deserve from life in general or from uh, from your work or from your love life, then you pretty much have betrayed yourself. And most likely you are going to get bounced back or you are going to bounce back to repeat it once again. So it's like, a, I don't know, a magic circle, something like this. But that week, the energies are also um, saying something else. With the justice in terms of energies, um, you are going to get whatever you deserve. There is no question of it. And uh, it's important to, if you will, make a good analysis over it. Think about it. Okay, Think about it in a prolonged period of time. 
so you do figure out how to incorporate it in your life otherwise it's going to be is going to be left unutilized and that is also a, a matter of a decision how and where because again whatever you do throughout the week is going to bear its consequences whether you like it or not nothing is going to be swiped under the rug like never happened nor you will be able to escape from the situation like a snake into the bushes like you are never there you will stand there with your name with your face with your uh, with your presence as well and you definitely are going to be noticed and being held accountable for the good and the bad things you do but in this case it will be uh, equal from both and it will be all matter of a perspective and as well uh, how can I say a situation uh, which is going to be uh, is going to take the edge over the other uh, one last thing I want to say, especially um, in case that relates to your career, uh, there will be a lot of responsible um, or of a tasks that are very, very responsible or they do um, require a huge sense of responsibility. And that could be exactly the core of uh, the concern of yours, knowing that if you do mess up with those things or with those tasks, you have to bear the consequences of the failures that are to follow after and that fear unfortunately could petrify and rot your soul so you should not be afraid of making an action but don't make stupid actions just take your time to think about what is going to be your next step and a hint of the card it is that your next step should be the step with the most sense of emergency you do not strive to do first what you like, you strive to do first, that it is first into the to-do list. Uh, then we are moving into the next one, which is the challenges that you get to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the hermit. So challenge-wise, um, I don't know if you are like that. I'm not very familiar with Capricorn in general. Well, I am, but as far as it goes, or as far as you do relate it to Taro, for in Taro, Capricorn is the devil and the devil has its primal urges and these primal urges needs to be fulfilled. And that is the challenge we have here, but described with another card. So we do have the Hermit and the Hermit pretty much points that the challenge for you to overcome is to realize uh, and acknowledge, not just only to realize, I do suspect that you do realize it by now, but probably some of you, or for the most part, most of you guys are not acknowledging what is this substantial thing in your life right now, or in other words, what is making you happy, what is making you feel fulfilled, what is the light that shines for you at the end of the dark tunnel that you are finding yourself at. And uh, challenging wise, it seems that you are going to acknowledge it and start moving toward it, even if there is no one there to applaud you for it, okay? So that being said, you should prepare to face not an opposition, but like a disapproval and in most extreme cases, abandonment. Like people are gonna abandon you because your light at the end of the dark tunnel is not their light and they are gonna move into the their direction, you are gonna move to your direction. But those that stays with you, those that are um, faithful to your cause, they are true friends, they are true companions, they are loyal to you regardless what you are to do. But uh, challenging wise uh, as well, you should proceed with, um, instead of um, emo emotional response here, you should proceed with uh, rather share a fair share of wisdom and intelligence and i could have said that with the first couple of cards it just you know escaped my mind but it's it's something that the hermit touches on as well so before you decide what to do you have to kind of like think wisely and intelligently over it than making it impo emotionally impulsively or taking a decision or making an action emotionally impulsively and above everything else with this card um 
challenging wise you're gonna sort out your emotions and that's why the intelligence and the wisdom is going to take an edge there because you pretty much are going to be you you are not going to be a mess if you were beforehand emotionally i mean uh moving next we do have the um gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy and that is the page of cups that card now relates to something that it is further into the future not now but it is further into the future and um it relates to a change for you that is looming on the horizon, something that you do relate emotionally with, something that makes you act in a different way, something that makes you forget your, um, your worries right now, something that, forget, that makes you forget your current um, trivial concerns, if you will, domestic concerns, and instead makes you turn your look toward the overview and... Uh, how can I say makes your life like seems like nothing like it is right now when you put yourself in the situation when the change comes that could be I don't know the first thing that comes to my mind is say that you are in a relationship with someone but now has to be a long distance because that person is uh, in a business trip somewhere for a six month say and you are experiencing difficulties right now you know not being around that person and that you have to face everything alone but when you think of the change that is going to happen when this person is going to come about from the um from the business trip nothing really matters what you are going through right now and all that you are feeling and living into is that moment where that person is going to come to you. So such kind of a change we are talking about here. And uh, this week you are going to, because you are going to start feeling the change coming closer and closer, um, you are going to start taking the necessary measures and actions as well to prepare yourself for that change um, as best as you can to the best of your abilities so you can um, uh, capitalize on it or utilize it the best way possible. Moving next, it is the uh, impression that you are going to leave into people around. That is the impression of the Queen of Swords. So people are going to see you, uh, probably the word is warmongry, in a sense of that if somebody wants a fight, if somebody wants a battle, if somebody wants a war, bring it on. And you are to see who you are messing with. Uh, for that reason, you may kind of like... Um, repose certain individuals from your life but not for a lifetime just for the week itself and instead with this card people are gonna see you um, like you don't give a uh, you don't give a dime right uh, what is gonna cost you to do this thing or to do that thing now from within you can be extremely fragile I am saying here how you're gonna look into the eyes of others uh, and also they're gonna see you very clever Clever is different from smart, okay? Clever, it's, or the way I know the word, it is like being more sneaky than usual, being more surreptitious than usual, using all of the, tr the tools of the tricks of the trade to meet, to meet ends or to, to meet means. And uh, if that um, makes it worth, people are also gonna see you healthy, for one or another reason. So if you do feel that something is wrong and you go to, for example, with your health and you go, for example, to get the routine checked, most likely uh, you are gonna be told that everything is fine with you. Uh, moving next, we do have the uh, things that are gonna hold you back and that is the uh, Four of Swords. So a couple of things. The first one is the lack of activity you have to take the lead you need to be the initiator here there is no other way seeing the card i mean everybody can see the card in that in that light but the other which is more worrisome thing that are going to hold you down is the inability of others to understand you and that is written here as well in the hermit that i said there will be less people to applaud you for what you choose to follow and uh, this is because you are going to be left uh, misunderstood but that is also a test to those that are loyal like i said for even if people don't understand you they still are going to stick with you for what you are and for that they are your true friends for they that truly loves you and so on and so forth 
So, um, if you do try to express yourself here uh, and still people got baffled, you know, by, by, by what you say or by what you're trying to convey as the feelings, just don't bother, just, just move on. And now that I think of, there is another thing that may hold you down and that is the, the, the foolish feeling that things are calming down. They are, but the problems that you that are calming down are going to resurface after the weekends. And uh, it's actually, this is a blessing in disguise, if you will, uh, because now that you are forewarned that these problems are going to re-immerse back into the surface after one week period of time, you may use the time to prepare for those problems to come about. And this, day, in, in this time, face them on your own turf. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the uh, positive things that are going to push you forward. That is uh, the uh, Ace of Wands, and we talked about the light that uh, is at the end of your dark tunnel, and this is exactly what we're talking about here. The Ace of Wands points that this light that shines for you there, it is in an amazing gaining for enterprise that you don't want to miss. Now, it also, the card relates to the Nine of Swords, and it kind of boosts the fear and in this particular case, it is the fear from the unknown. It is like you are going to be scared, that you are not good enough, that you may not be able to handle with it, uh, it is awkward, you know, that it's something you are not familiar, and so on and so forth. But you can do it, or rather like you can get the hang of it very, very quickly, may that be a job or may that be a, a, a symbiosis with somebody else. With the Ace of Wands, uh, you are going to find out that this was always engraved within you. The ability to get along with that person, the ability to, to work that job, for example, the ability to speak that way, the ability to love that way, for example, okay? So with, uh, with the Ace of Wands here, uh, you just have to make the leap of faith. That is a um, property of the Fool card, but in this particular case, the Ace of Wands with the Nine of Swords there and the Judgment uh, and the Justice, I'm sorry, and as we do have the Hermit, it, it, it kind of like gets almost equal to the Fool in this particular uh, in this particular case. All that you need to know that this, this light for you, it's, it's, it's your cue, it's your gaining for, like I said, an enterprise that's pretty much, I don't know if it's going to give you happiness, but definitely is going to make your life dappled with colors should your life was black by now. And uh, the last one for you, this will be the guidance the tower is offering to you, Capricorn. That is the, nine, the ten of wands, I'm sorry. So we talked about the light at the end of the tunnel, the gaining for enterprise, and now this card points that that ain't a gift by a large margin, right? This is a thing that you get, but you have to do your due, you have to make your due to keep it up, to sustain it. And once we, we do have an expression in our country, I don't know how it's gonna sound in English, but once you hook up in the dance, uh, in the dance train, you dance till the train ends. Or once you board the train, you make sure you get to the last stop. So once you jump into it, once you take that gaining for enterprise, or you uh, run through the uh, run toward and through the light at the end of your dark tunnel, regardless if that's a new job, new love, or an old love that you know you want to keep up with, and so on and so forth, you do not give up from there. You keep up with it for as long as it lasts. That's the guidance that we do have. It's going to be very demanding, but um, judging by the other cards, you do realize that and um, or you are about to start realizing that but it's because the uh, justice it's uh, into the energies you are going to have nothing against it even i think that you are going to enjoy that you are to have to be preoccupied so you can sustain it uh, moving forward into the future and the ten of wands also says that uh, it, it's an amazing opportunity that that's what it says but in your case 
it says that that what's happening to you it's or what is about to happen to you in this week it's amazing but you have to make your due there it's not going to develop on its own accord and a lot is riding on you here to make it the way you want to make it so that being said capricorn this was your weekly general tarot reading guys uh hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh with that being said we're going to see each other next time until then bye